What's up people? Welcome back to the channel. As you probably know, well, actually, I didn't tell anyone. No, I didn't tell anyone, but yes, I am at Computex 2018 and I'm in Taipei, Taiwan to check out this really cool event. So yesterday I was actually going around town. I attended the press conference. I also like went to the Nangang Hall. That's where the Computex, the main Computex event is going to happen. And also ran into Eber and Mike from Hardware Canucks. So that was pretty cool. Put the link in the description down below. Yeah guys, so this is it. We're in Taipei, Taiwan. I'm gonna give you some nice coverage and check out some really cool builds, definitely. But before this, let's check out this tiny little hotel that I'm staying in. So that's the entrance to the room. And on the right hand side there's the toilet it's a pretty big toilet a very nice looking toilet that's the showers that's me TV bed bedside table and just a counter table oh and check it out guys this is my little press pass so I should be able to check out some cool places with that badge all right enough of the tour let's go have some breakfast guys everybody we've finally made it to the Computex 2018 and as you can see behind us this is the venue the Nangang venue and I just can't wait guys as you can see people are just registering for their badges and definitely guys let's go check it out so as soon as you walk in I guess um, we see Cooler Master welcome to Computex hey check it out guys this is by Designs IFR alright guys so we're here with Corey by Designs IFR what's up man how's it going hey, good, good good and we're gonna check out some uh, really cool scratch build that you did so how long did this take you and uh, where'd you get this inspiration from so this build roughly took me about a month month and a half to uh -huh. build it's basically made out of MDF wood yeah. uh, I had to put a sealer over it because MDF wood sort of soaks up paint and it just makes it the texture not too great so oh, the sealer cool. really helped out okay, and the inspiration behind it was I really wanted to go with sort of like a, a battle bot design theme battle bot yeah. yeah so I, I found some images of uh, you know robots uh, Titanfall robots and things like that yeah, on, that's, that's... on Google and I sort of uh, joined a lot of them together to sort of come up with this uh, concept and design. So I can see that um, your sponsors are uh, Asus Cooler Master Ryzen and some EK water blocks and what's what's the Zadak? Thing? Zadak, yes. Oh, cool. What's what's the RAM? Is it, is it Zadak? Or? Yeah. So the RAM is uh, by Zadak. They're, they're quite a new company on the market as well. Um, uh -huh. Quite small, working their way up, but they got some pretty cool products. Um, cool. So yeah, I was really happy using that RAM. We've got an Asus Crosshair motherboard. We have an Asus Radeon Vega 64. Yeah. GPU inside so you know it's gonna play the latest games with quite a breeze and uh, mm -hmm. we have a Ryzen 7 2700x CPU nice cool man well um, thanks Corey for your time and uh, it's a really awesome build man so yeah, thank you yeah. very much thanks very much yeah Raymond hello how's Hi. it going nice yeah. to meet you. can you tell me a little bit about this project here yeah so we what we have here is the inception project so what we did was we got the best in Taiwan, the best modders in Taiwan, and we cool. said, hey, let's build something really special for Computex. Yeah. So we got all the brands involved, AMD, yeah. Clue Master, of course, and ViewSonic, and all the other motherboard brands, and say, like, hey, you know what, let's do something epic. Yeah. And so we built a 12-system water cool challenge. Nice. So you see here is like RGB, yeah. uh, AMD platform, and it's all water cooled by Clue Master products, and then we have this whole display here. Yeah. It took two months. Two months. No sleep. No not, sleep. not much sleep. And yeah. uh, they made it. And then uh, so we're, we're glad that you could see it here. Are those uh, custom? I mean, the the hexagon. Are those like a uh, uh, reservoirs? Yeah, or? those are custom reservoirs thanks to Bits Power. Yeah. Uh, so we they were able to like do that for us during the Computex event, and then um, so it's part of the whole display. I think uh, those are the new uh, Maker Liquid, right? Yeah, yeah. Can you yeah. tell me a little bit about that? So what it is, it, it, it's a it's a soft tubing yeah, DIY soft tubing. liquid cooling set. Yeah. So we had the reservoir, we have our water blocks, and then uh, at this time again we used a bit of uh, bits power as well. Right. So right. because we don't have the hard tubing right now, oh, okay. so we mix and match with a lot of partners. Yeah. And so that's the reservoir from Maker 240, uh, the water blocks, yeah. and of course the new latest ARGB fans from Cooling Master uh, as well. Nice, nice. All the brands were involved. Right? This time around, so we have the latest uh, Threadripper, we have uh, the X470 platform as well, okay. and all, all Vega 
Um, so it's it's like hundred thousand dollar U.S. build altogether. Damn. Uh, it's 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 uh, three hundred kilograms. So there's about six or seven people that kind of like uh, had to lift this thing and move it here. So it was it was quite a daunting task for those guys. Anything else uh, you want to say about this uh, this really cool build? Yeah, I mean uh, we we hope you guys enjoy it and uh, you know just uh, help us share and and tell everyone about it. All right, cool, cool, man. All right, Raymond. Yeah, thanks very much for your time. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. All right. See you. Hey, man. How's it going? Can I uh, ask you a little bit about um, yeah, this sure. thing right here? So, what's what's going on? I don't really know much about like overclocking. This is extreme overclocking. So, we are using liquid nitrogen to cool the CPU and the graphic card. Um, so, this CPU is 16 core from Intel. 16, 16 core from Intel. Yeah, from Intel. And now it's at minus 80 degrees. 80 degrees. Minus, wow. minus 80. Wow, minus 80. That's crazy, man. Yeah, cool. that's really cool. And to power the system because this CPU need a lot of power. Yeah. To work. So we use Master Watt Maker 1500. So we are using this kind of CPU. Yeah. Okay. So the CPU frequency is 2.6. 2.6. Oh, 2.8. Right. Uh -huh. And now here. Now we are at 5.2. 5.2. So it's a big improvement. Wow, that's a that's a that's a pretty yeah. big increase. I think Is it alright if you can like do a little bit of like an action and all that? So that'll, that'll be great. So do you so. want to do it? Oh yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. So let's make an exchange. I will start the test. So okay. And how much do I have to pour in? Yeah. The idea is to try to keep here minus 80. Minus 80. So you can go to minus 80. Okay. And uh, I'll just pour it in, right? Yeah, yeah. Just all right. In. Okay. Okay, we're still at minus 63, right? Okay, I think it's enough. That's enough, right? So now I will start the benchmark. Okay. Just can, can we drink this now? No, when the benchmark is working, okay. uh, the temperature will increase. Ah, I because see. The okay. CPU load is increasing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Wow. Thank you very much. What's your name? Uh, Wizardy. 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 Oh, yeah, left hand Wizardy. shape. <laughs> Wizardy. You can see almost everywhere. Well. Okay, all right, yeah. Cool. Thanks very much, man. Okay guys, uh, let's check out some liquid coolers by uh, Cooler Master and I can see that there's a lot of AIOs right here. Hi. And uh, what's your name? Uh, Christine. Christine, so uh, Christine's going to tell us a little bit more about this these products. Hey, hello everyone, Christine from Cooler Master. And now we uh, have so many eye-catcher products here. Yep. And this one is called Master Liquid Pro RGB Series. Uh, because we have the non-LED series before, yeah. now we have the RGB one on the fan and the pump. Uh, uh, maybe I think I need to uh, explain what's the difference between normal RGB and the address part. Uh, which means you can change the color at uh, only one color at uh, one time. But the left one, uh, this one is called the RS series. This I see. Our addressable RGB. We have the ARGB fan and yep. ARGB pump. Okay. And uh, so you can control the different uh, lighting effect. Yep. And we will have the lighting uh, controller inside. Okay. And it even can uh, control by our software and the motherboard software. And the, the, the most important thing is we have a thermal sensor on here. Really? So can, wow. Yeah, so we can detect uh, CPU's temperature. And this one is Oh, this, called, this pump yeah, looks really nice. Pump. This is our secret weapon. So really? we won't turn on it to let you see what the effect for oh. some high-end watch. You can see the uh, mechanical look. Oh yeah, I have, right. yeah. like this one. Yeah, yeah. What, this is uh, what the pump said. Oh, no. Yeah, you can see the mechanic inside and even no see way. the color. Wow. Yes, yes. When will this appear in the market? Uh, Q3 or Q4. Yep. And this one called TEC. TEC. Uh, this one looks uh, like two radiator, but actually only this one is the, the real radiator. You can imagine like a refrigerator. Yeah. I see. And uh, for example, when we feel very hot, we may use a fan or air condition. When you use a uh, TEC, I see. It's like an air condition, and you can touch it. That's it's really cool. Oh yeah, it's really cold. Cool, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it shows the uh, temperature. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, yep. bye. Bye. Okay, so wait. Uh, so, so these cases that we're gonna check out, they are mock-ups, right? Yes. Right. Only, only. Oh, you are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
yeah. we have uh, three main uh, products okay. that has been launched today, let's say. So you have the Cosmo, the C700M, that okay. is here. Yep. You have the SL600M okay. and the H500. That is totally new for the public. What's, uh, what, what's the other one called again? Uh, let's go check it out. This is so, the H500. Yes, so this is a little browser. Okay. The H500P and the H500M. As you can see, the product still keeps the DNA of the H series with the two pieces of the 200 mm fan RGB. This is something we want absolutely to keep. Okay. This chassis has a, a special screw design to do not lose the screw. So you have the filter, the magnetic yeah. filter. You have also the handle, so you can bring well, the chassis where you want. Something quite interesting, you know, some people are looking for mesh. Yeah. So you have the mesh here. Yeah. And some people are looking for aesthetic. Uh, you have a nice one. So, so you have two choices. Yes, we include the acrylic panel and also the mesh panel. So you can choose about what you want. So when will this be uh, oh, on the market? Okay. So that we release a search line at $99. $99? $99, yes. I'll throw. So <laughs> let me introduce you the new lineup. The first time we let the public discover the new lineup. The name is SL Series. SL for silence. 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 So we don't want to give any compromise to the end user between gaming and silence. This one you can mix together. You can play the latest, uh, the latest game, video games. At the same time, you will play in silence. Is this a flagship one? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a C700M. When we see the M at the end, means the maker. Yeah. This is a top premium. So let's have a look about the C700M. Outlook. This is aluminium handle. Yes. And this is aluminium also, a top panel and front panel. So here you have the top panel. Then you have the ARGB line. Yeah. That can be used for the lighting also. So you have the option to change. You have some preset mode. You can change the light. So let's have a look inside. We we change the layout. The meaning about the C700M is to let you feel like a modder. Okay. Even you don't know how to mod, you don't know how to use a Dremel to cut, to paint. You can reverse. Oh, you can, really? Yes, you can reverse as you want to change this style. So it's, it's like, very modular, right? It's totally modular. You can make it yourself. <laughs> make, make it, it yours. yours. <laughs> <laughs> we use this bracket for the graphic cards. And it's slanted as well, right? Yes. Wow. Yes. Looks very, very premium. <laughs> yeah, this is a premium stress. So this one will be released early September. And how much? And it's a 399. 399. 399. <laughs> it's premium. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand the price. Yeah, it's, and, it's very good. And then and it's very modular too. I really yeah, like that. It's a unique feature yeah, all the time. No? It's a very customized thing that you can make your own. Cool. All right. Um, I guess uh, thank you very much for your ah, time. Yeah, that's yeah. a pleasure, man. Yeah, nice to meet you, you as well. You're welcome. Alright guys, this is the end of the video and thank you everyone in this video for, you know, answering my questions. And guys, if you, li if you like this kind of video, don't forget to subscribe. I do like uh, case mods and like coverages and uh, also maybe product re reviews along the way. So obviously I'm still going to be in Computex. Stick around because I'm just going to you know, upload more videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.